What's up y'all? Today I'm going back to my roots a little bit. I'm doing a guitar playthrough slash tutorial. Um, today I'm doing Butterfly Kiss from the video game Persona 5. This is the theme that plays when you go into the doctor's office. This song was recommended by these lovely subscribers. Two of them. I don't know if they're actually subscribed or not. They just left comments and I liked the song, so I did it. But you better subscribe if you're not because I took your suggestion. Now you have to subscribe, that's the rule. But yeah, um, if you have any other suggestions for songs you wanna see on the channel, just leave it in the comments below. I always look at them, I always look at all the songs. And um, you know, if I really like it or if the comment has like a bunch of likes, if it's the most popular request, I'll do it. Also, I'm just gonna quickly plug my guitar lessons. I just started doing guitar lessons online so it can be Skype or Zoom or whatever. Uh, if you want them, just email me. I like giving lessons. I think it's fun and I'm not gonna charge a lot. So just go to my about uh, page on YouTube and you can find my email there. If you're interested, just email me. Anyway, I'm gonna cover the song now, um, play through it once, and then afterwards I'm gonna run through some of the parts with y'all. Welcome back. All right, so since I have the tab scroll at the bottom, um, I actually don't think it's necessary to go through each part note by note like I used to in all my old videos. Um, but I'm gonna quickly run through each part and kind of just go over, I guess, some of the technique or, or how I, I got that part by listening to it. So the first part is just the chords in the beginning, and I didn't want to spend too much time on these because they're, it, it's like, there's not an actual guitar part for him, it's just a keyboard anyway. Um, so what I came up with was this. So it's just a D power chord. All right, let me get closer. <laughs> it's got a D power chord um, down to a C sharp power chord, back to the D power chord. And in the bass, the bass is playing this E. So it's D power chord over E. Then the next note in the bass is this F sharp. So I just decided to incorporate the bass part as well and then play it in the guitar part. So, so the bass is going E, F sharp, E. And then uh, the power chords are going D power chord, C sharp power chord, D power chord. And I just kind of put those together. And that's how I got that uh, for a guitar part for the intro. It's not super intricate. Um, there's more notes that the keyboard part actually plays, but I don't think it's super necessary to have them in the guitar part. Uh, it does change halfway through, however. Did you notice the change? Or the bass part changes, so. Uh, I'm just gonna play the bass part for the for the phrase. So it's 
So the second two times, it ends up on a B. And so naturally I add that to the chord the second time. So that's how I end up with. Because I'm playing that B on the seventh fret of the E string. So yeah, uh, that's basically how I got the chords for the first part. <laughs> So something I notice when I learn songs from the Persona 5 soundtrack specifically is that there are a lot of interesting anticipations and different times uh, notes come in that you don't really expect unless you're paying close attention. For instance, I um, can't play it without a metronome in a way that you can accurately hear the anticipation there, but this is a dotted quarter note. Um, into the phrase. So it's like an anticipation into beat four of the previous bar before the phrase. And it doesn't always do that. So the first time. That's actually just a quarter note, that one. So let me try and explain that better. The pickup into the first little phrase there is a dotted quarter note from the previous bar. Then into the second phrase is just a quarter note. So it takes off that that uh, anticipation eighth note. And, and that's something you really gotta pay attention to when you're transcribing this kind of music is um, just being really careful about where the anticipations are. So all in all, this track isn't too technically challenging to play, but I do add a few articulations here and there that make it a little bit more complicated. Um, they're not super necessary to play. They're not even accurate, like super accurate to how the track is originally played. I just add them because I like them. So an example would be. And this is something I do all the time. It's just like a little half step slide. So I, start, I pick the ninth fret and then immediately fled up to the 10th fret of the B string. And just little, little articulations and stuff like that um, really add up and make all the difference in the end. There's another one. So this one's a little bit more, uh, I think hard to under understand just by listening to it. Um, I pick the ninth fret and hammer on immediately to the 10th fret, but since it's just an eighth note back to the ninth fret, I'm picking that one again, so. Um, that's how it sounds. So, and I, I notated every little articulation I do in the tab. You can choose whether or not you want to do it. It's not super necessary, but I just thought I'd kind of point it out. A part that can be kind of tricky if you're not super used to um, I guess bending and using multiple fingers on the same fret is this part. That's the way you want to be playing it. So you do the bend and then put this finger, since it's on the same fret, I never really like um, rolling my finger when I can avoid it. So in this circumstance, that's the correct way to play it. You actually put your uh, your middle finger right there instead. And then um, play the 10th fret of the E string with your first finger, so. And then the second time the bend comes, you're actually playing the 10th fret of the B string. If you can help it, it's always better to use two separate fingers, so. So for that one, first finger on the B string, and then middle finger on the 10th fret of the E string. So yeah, that's all I've got. Just wanted to quickly go over like a few things that might might have been challenging or a few things that I wanted to specify um, just so they made more sense. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this better. I don't think it's necessary for me to go through every note on every string. That's kind of a painstaking process. I don't want to do it. No one wants to watch that. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I mean, again, if you need help, like with a specific part, just email me. Again, I am giving online lessons now, so if you're interested in that, you can uh, send me an email. Or if you just have a basic question, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you about it. It's no big deal. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have for this song. Leave more suggestions below and I'll see y'all around.